Governor, it's very good to have you, sir. Obviously, you tried to ease the pain for folks like uh, Mr. German by, by uh, you know, dropping the state gas tax. I think it will last another couple of months. Is that right? Yeah, it started, it started uh, just a week or so ago. It's going to last for two months. And um, do you decide, on, you know, after that, whether it should be extended if prices are still still high, Governor? Well, the thing we're using, uh, Neil, because of our conservative budgeting, being the first state in the com country to reopen, uh, you know, we've just got an incredible amended budget this year that allowed us to do a lot of one-time uh, things to help people all Biden inflation that we're seeing in Washington. We certainly can't fix all the problems up there, but putting a little bit of money back in the pockets of hardworking Georgians and small business owners, we're doing all that we can with the tools that we got. Uh, the two month moratorium on gas and fuel or fuel and gas uh, is certainly going to help. We're also returning over a billion dollars of excess funds that we had, uh, $250 for every person um, or 500 if you're filing as a family. So really trying to help people offset inflation. We cut taxes last year in Georgia in the middle of the pandemic, and we're doing our part this year to help offset inflation. You know, certainly it's our hope that the market at some point is going to stabilize, but we don't know when. I, I don't think there's going to be an easy fix to that. Uh, but we're working on continuing to lower taxes this year with the rest of the legislative session that we have to try to help our folks be able to just plowed through this 40-year high inflation that we're seeing because of bad policies in Washington, D.C.